I told people, some people say I'm good at marketing. I said, this man's better. Well, that depends on who you ask. My opinion. See, I think there you go. I think you're, the, you go. I think you're the marketer of 2017. One and, two, and now they make you one <laughs> and me one. Who's going to determine who's one? <laughs> We were talking earlier about marketing techniques. Yes. What's your philosophy that's made you stand right. out from the crowd? My philosophy that make me stand out for the crowd is I do it my way. I trust and believe the way I'm doing it, and I'm just doing me, so it ain't no big deal about it. So when people throw hate at you, what's the proper response for somebody listening? Uh, the proper response for somebody listening is as long as they don't stop you from doing what you do, yeah. don't worry about it. What if they have haters? If they got, they're going to have haters. Anytime you're in the limelight, you're going to have 50% of people like you and 50% of them don't. You're not going to please everybody. Yeah. And you're not going to have everybody hate you because some people are going to be like, you know what? I like what they're doing. I like right. what they're doing. But you're not going to please everybody. But if you get stuck on having haters be like, oh, man, I don't like that guy. As long as you ain't doing nothing bad and have no bad vices, you're fine. As long as you ain't hurt nobody and doing nothing stupid, keep going forward. Yeah. For people listening, one of the questions I've had, the philosophy of how you've raised your, your sons. Right. How is it different from the crowd? It's different from the crowd on the way every parent is different. Some of them are the same. But if you, if you believe in the way you're parenting your kids, stick with them. Yeah. If it's good. How did you do it differently? I did it differently. It's, it's not even different. You know, it's, it's the same as a lot of people. It's just I'm in front of the camera and my boys are successful. It's a lot of other kids that are successful in some other things. And they pay us to get behind them. But the fact that my boys are all super talented, yeah. that means I spent a lot of time with them. Yeah. And I got behind a passion that they love. Yeah. And when you do that, you're going to come out pretty successful. I think the unique thing is sometimes fathers have pushed their kids like the Jackson 5, but the kids right. don't love the father back. But I can tell your sons still have the connection to you. you they still have a connection because I made this stuff. It's not even about being overbearing. It's about having fun. Yeah. If you make this fun to your kids yeah. from, from day one, I ain't saying wait till they get to making some money and say, oh, now it's fun. Yeah. It's not even about the money. It's about my boys having a passion. This is what I say the key to life is, is, is doing something that you love to do and you happen to get paid for, you want. Because yeah. after you have made so much money and you have bought everything you wanted, what's left? Right. If you don't have a passion for nothing, you're just sitting with a lot of money, then guess what? Now you got some bad vices to say, you know what, I need something to get me over this high. I need to drink, I need to smoke, I need to do something to give me a buzz and say, oh, this is it. Yeah. Boys ain't like that. My boys is on one goal, to be the best players in the world. So your son, what do you tell him now? He's playing for the Lakers. The yeah. Lakers are doing better than they've done in years. The Lakers what are do you losing. tell him? The Lakers okay. are losing right now. They Ooh. suck right now. Yeah. And like I said, it's a very fixable uh, problem. Here's the thing, man. What's the fix? The fix is let my boy play. He's a special player. He's always been a winner. Yeah. And you'll lose him up. You keep getting all these losses. But he can't win a game if he's just sitting on the bench. And then they bring him in with five and six minutes left in the fourth quarter talking about let him save us. If you look at how many games they done played already this year, look how many games Lonzo has started the fourth quarter and ended the fourth quarter. Now, we've seen this story before last year. They didn't get enough wins. There's a reason. We're doing the same damn thing over and over. Let's get a guy who everybody, all these tickets and all these people here, they see here to see one guy. And I say who they're here to see. Because they was here last year and they wasn't coming like this. You bring my son to the table and guess what? I ain't about that losing. And I ain't scared to tell people if you're dribbling too much, pass the ball. If there's people in front of you, pass the ball. It's very easy to sub. Not sub blindly. This is when you sub. You're tired, sub. You're not doing your job, sub. That's how easy it is. It's not going in there with a preconcerved notion like, I'm gonna let this guy play 10 minutes, five minutes, I'm gonna bring him in at the three minute mark. I mean, you, you don't even tell the floor of the game. Yeah. Every game is different. So if you wanna get a guy in there for four or five minutes, guess what? Maybe he don't play this game, I get up by 20 and you play 10 minutes the next game. Yeah. So don't get stuck on, here's what everybody's saying, the, 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 the kids are young, okay? I want the young kids. You give me a bunch of young pros, my record will be better than this on the fact that I'm 50 something years old and I know the game. But if you got some guy 30, you may be not experienced enough. Maybe stop talking about the players are so young, and maybe it's the coaching experience is young. Yeah, nobody don't want to say that, but I'll say it because I'm 50 years old and I know the game. You give me those guys and I guarantee you they'll be in a much better position than this is because you're not playing the guys, you're not getting the best out of a lot of people. It's just like you get you a Rolls Royce, man, and you go have a 10 cent dude tune it up. It's gonna look like a beautiful car. The Lakers are a beautiful franchise. 
it just, if you don't have the right spark plugs in that thing, this is a waste. You just got a bunch of young kids running loose. You don't want to get the best out of none of them. Yeah. Because this system right here is not getting the best out of Zoe. He can make every pass on the court. He can make everybody effective. But when he takes off and you want to play fast, if I look back and I play, let's say I got my boy playing a game. If I got four people behind him, four people behind him, all four of y'all coming out because you ain't running fast enough. Why are you jogging behind him? Talking about we getting ready to set up a play. Sprint to the end so we can throw the ball ahead. If we want to play fast, we want to play slow, walk up, man. They got 12 different people taking the ball out. I don't need one guy taking the ball out. And you know which one that is? Whoever the slowest one on the team take the goddamn ball out. Because you're not going fast. It's very simple. And now I don't have these four guys, every time they score the bucket, I don't have who going to take it out this time. Who going to take it out next time? I can fix all this stuff, man. Just play around my boy. He's been successful all his life. Now to get here, and the thing they want to say is, oh, he's a rookie. Oh, we, we different up here. This is the NBA. It's freaking basketball. Yeah. It's not that hard. Yeah. Sometimes less coaching is the best coach. You think they're overthinking it? They over just let them play. They're overthinking it. It's not even about just letting them play. Sometimes you got to tell guys that you don't want to tell. Hey, stop all that goddamn dribbling and trying to do your move. I know that you made four buckets in a row, but it's going to play on in the game. You're trying to go one-on-one. -on -one, you're going to lose. And if you got three guys on the court that are scorers, right. they're going to go one-on-one -on -one and you're going to lose because there's no more team flow. And I'll tell you what, you got two guys playing against each other. You got Brandon playing against, uh, what's that other boy named Number Zero? Uh, Kuzma. 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 Because they're both trying to get their points up. We both trying to get their points up. Win or lose. The last question that I have for you. Most definitely. Do you have one? If you had to leave a one paragraph for the world of advice that you've learned in life, what's that one paragraph say? The one paragraph I would say is whatever you do, you gotta suffer the consequences, whether it be good or bad. But do you. Do you. If it's if it's if it's if you're if you're a, a killer or a mace, don't try to be when you get caught, be soft now. If you're gonna be true to yourself, be true to yourself whatever you do and suffer the consequences. Some of them are good, some of them are bad. But to be true to yourself. Tell him about that big ball of And brand. he's a good big friend. Big ball of brand. With the social media hand guy right here. <laughs> he do his thing.